So this is the place I wanted to check out. Uh, this is the Virgin River Gorge down here on the Arizona Strip. That's I-15. And uh, this place was on freecampsites.net and I wanted to just check it out. I've never, you know, I've driven through this gorge dozens of times probably, but I've never really stopped to look at it. It's pretty cool. We're definitely in the, in the Mojave Desert now. We've got Joshua trees. Of course, these are the the iconic plant, a symbol of the Mojave Desert. There's also a watering tank over here for horses, I assume. Maybe wildlife too, I don't know. I definitely wouldn't want to drink it. This is where I'm parked. More Joshua trees behind the car over there on the other side of the little side canyon. So, most of the rock in the St. George area is sandstone, all that red, red rock. There's also some volcanic rock like basalt and welded tuff. Once you get deeper into the Virgin River Gorge, it turns into limestone. And uh, it's actually a popular cl rock climbing area on the limestone cliffs. I remember reading in a climbing magazine several years ago that it was actually rated one of the worst climbing areas in America. The fact that an interstate runs right through it and is only a few hundred feet away from where you're climbing, that kind of impacts, impacts it a little bit. So I'm going to go check out this cliff. I'm going to go take a look at it. Yep, this is definitely limestone. Beautiful limestone. So this road that I came in on, I came in the, over here, it continues this way. And apparently there are more campsites further up. I passed a couple campsites already down here. Really not far at all from the interstate. So I was just walking along the base of this cliff and I saw this cave. I thought, oh, that looks interesting. So I climbed inside. You know, it's a nice little cave, but then I saw some light coming from over here. And it's a tunnel, it's a tube that goes around, goes in here, comes back out over this way. Oh, cool. Let's go see if we can get to that upper. I don't really want to, cl to crawl through here. Let's see if I can climb up to that upper little chamber area. Yep, this is the entrance to the upper little hole. Let's see. Very cool, and there are the, um, there's that pillar between those two holes. Well, this was super neat. I'm glad I made this little side trip. Can I get back in the car now and um, head into Nevada? exited the Virgin River Gorge. See those mountains over there? Those are the Mormon Mountains. And that one on the far left, it's kind of separate from the others. That's Moapa Peak. That's where I'm gonna be, that's the mountain I'm gonna be climbing tomorrow. And that's where I'm driving to tonight, to the trailhead. I just took the exit off the interstate, and there is Moapa Peak. This apparently is an area of environmental concern. I'm guessing that's due to the, the desert tortoise there. Let's do this. You know, one thing we talk about a lot in the van dwelling world is clearance. How you want clearance on your vehicle so you can get off into these back roads. 
thing we don't talk about is narrowness. So for example, right here, I've got, you know, this is a very narrow dirt road and there are these big bushes on this side. If you had a, a wider vehicle, if you had like a big full-size van, you would get scratched to death on this road. Luckily I have a narrow little RAV4 so I can avoid most of the plants if I drive carefully. I feel like I'm on another planet here. This place is amazing. And I see a Jeep or something up, parked up ahead by that little canyon to the left. But wow, what a cool place. All right, guys, I didn't make it all the way to the trailhead. I'm probably three or four miles from the trailhead. The, the trail was just, or the road was just a little too rough for my liking. So I've stopped here. It's amazing. There's a little, little dam, I think, right there. An old busted up tank over here. What an amazing campsite. This is just incredible. And amazingly, I have full bars. I have full AT&T service here because I can see I-15 out there. So, wow, how cool is this? So this here says, Sheep Canyon Reservoir, U.S. Department of the Interior. Not a survey corner, unlawful to disturb. So there must be a reservoir back behind that dam, or at least there was at some point. All right, let's see if I can scramble up this. It shouldn't be too bad. It doesn't look too bad. Very cool rock, though. Yeah, that scramble wasn't too bad at all. And now I'm at the dam and there are steps going over each side. This is so cool. Looks like something straight out of Indiana Jones. So if this was a reservoir, it's definitely been a while. Maybe it's all silted up? I don't know. But wow, super, super cool place. So I walked just a little bit further back into the canyon just maybe 50 yards. It looks like there's an arch up there. You see that? Maybe. And there's a mine or a cave right there. Man, this is so cool. Well, I'll have more time to explore this later. Right now I'm starving. I told myself when I got to camp, to wherever I'd camp, that um, I could start eating my pizza, so let's do that. Oh. So good. The sun is going down now, or at least going down behind, um, behind the shoulder of this mountain over here. And so, I'm just going to take it easy tonight, just kind of relax, read, listen to podcasts, watch a movie or two. Just enjoy the, just the absolute stillness and silence of the desert. 